Hello Leafies! Welcome to a little sit down video in my beauty room. It's a little bit of a mess in here. <laughs> it looks decent from your view but it's a little bit of a mess in here. I am in the process of packing. I was busy going through my bags and this cupboard alone and I was just like let me sit down and film a little bag declutter for you. I am thinking of doing it with my shoes as well so let me know if you want to see that. My shoes is next to this cupboard so I don't know let me know if you want to see that and we can do that as well. For any of you who are new my name is Jess and I mainly do actually, actually mainly just do vlogs on this channel but I do sit down videos occasionally. I used to do them all the time and I really just miss doing them so I thought I would do a little bag declutter. I'll, I'll let you know what, which bags I'm going to keep, which bags I'm going to be selling and if you are interested in some of these bags I will leave a link to my Yaga shop. So Yaga is basically like a, a online thrift store, almost like Depop in the UK, but for South Africa, I guess. So um, yeah, I'm going to be sharing some of my bags with you. I really want to minimize my collection a little bit and just move with less things. I think that is the goal. I um, love bags. So yeah, it's, I think this is going to be a little bit difficult, but we are going to do our best and I'm going to try and get rid of as many things as I possibly can. I was in the middle of listening to a podcast. Um, I don't know if you've seen the Netflix series. I've listened to the podcast, the, like the, the book narration and um, I really love Marie Kondo and the life-changing magic of tidying up um, and she really focuses on holding something and saying does this spark joy like do I want to wear this like do I get excited when I hold this in my hand and I think that is gonna be my goal I've literally listened to that podcast maybe like five times because she is, I, th I think she, spe she speaks Man uh, Mandarin, so um, yeah, they kind of narrate the book for you, but I highly recommend listening to that. So I'm doing my bags today, and I'm doing this cupboard today, so I thought I would share that with you, and just go through the process with you. I am literally surrounded by bags, so I think we must just get started. So, I don't know, let's get started with this one. I, this is a guest bag. It's more like a little, um, like an evening bag, but I have this one, which is Michael Kors. Very, very similar, and to be honest with you, if I had to choose one of these, I would probably go for the Michael Kors, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Wow, the first item that I'm holding and that I'm picking out, I'm going to get rid of, so yeah, you can shop this on my yaga so of course i'm gonna keep this one i have a bag full of dust bags so i have this little guest bag that i got i don't think i'm gonna get rid of this because i actually got this on uh like a guest trip and i'm a little bit sen sentimental with some things so i don't think i'm gonna get rid of this i think this is a really cute like picnic bag or i don't know you can put like snacks in it or equipment if i'm traveling so i'm gonna keep this bag but in here i have like all of my dust bags so with that guest bag i will probably put it in its dust bag i just need to find it michael kors isn't necessarily designer but i wouldn't call it high street i think it's it's a little bit more expensive than like high street like guess and aldo but um it's not quite designer i don't know i actually um thought that michael kors was designer all these years but i recently probably like a year ago i found out that it wasn't um but it's quite expensive so i don't know why but yeah i think i am going to sell this one as well this is a beautiful bag I loved this bag for like busy days where um you know I can put my laptop I can put all sorts of things beautiful like shiny Pierre Gardin I don't know is that how you pronounce it but yeah I'm probably gonna 
sell this one as well. The next bag that I see is this one over here. It's by the brand Fiorelli and it's it's quite similar to Guess. I think I got this um, maybe like two years ago and I think I wore it once. Um, I don't know, it's just not... It's a really pretty bag. Do I have to keep this? Do I give it away or like sell it? I don't know. Will someone in my family like this? No. I think one of you will really, really enjoy this. So I'm going to sell this one as well. I have an obsession with black bags. So, and also a lot of my things are monogrammed. So it's really difficult to get rid of those things. Um, so I don't know. I'll probably just end up just donating them because it's really difficult. But I think I'm going to... Um, I don't know do I hold on to this one because again it's it's quite similar to the Michael Kors one but it's a little bit different and it's monogrammed I don't know let me keep this one for now I have another monogrammed one in this beautiful color actually I think this is such an easy bag because you need bags that are not your favorite if that makes sense like I love this bag it's one of my favorites but I don't care if it's ruined if you know we're stuck in the rain or it falls on the floor like this one I'm scared of like I'm scared to like just take my Louis Vuitton everywhere and it's just you need a bag you need a bag that or a couple of bags that aren't necessarily your babies if that makes sense so I think I'm gonna keep this one I really like the color it goes really nice with this outfit and it's mon it's like monogrammed it has my initials on it it has a front little pocket these bags are from perfectly customized daily I will link them down below I, I think I also have a discount code so I will leave that in the description box for you as well and since we were on the topic of Louis Vuitton I'm pretty sure you can guess that I'm not going to get rid of my Alma BB. She is one of my favorites, but um, one of my newer Louis Vuitton purchases is the Nano Speedy, which looks like this, which also not going to get rid of her because she is just, oh, you have no idea how hard this bag was to find. I think... I waited for like over two years to eventually get one because they are just so popular and with like high um with like designer brands they don't make more as the demand goes up so as soon as a bag becomes popular it is just nearly impossible to get your hands on it so I I managed to get my hands on it thanks to the most amazing assistant at Louis Vuitton his name is Kyle you can follow him on Instagram Whenever you need something, you can just ask him and he is just the best. So I like to keep my Louis Vuitton bags in the dust bags. I use this one a little bit more often because it's a, it's a bit bigger. So I had this one on my vanity, so it's not in the dust bag, but I will put it in the dust bag when I'm like switching out my bags. Okay, next. Black on, black, <laughs> black on the black bags. <laughs> Back on the black bags. I really, really like this bag. Um, should I keep it? I don't know. I feel like I have so many black bags. I need to just, just have a few that I can just use. I really like this bag. It's from Aldo. It has like this marbling, I don't know, buckle. And then you open it like that. It has really nice storage. I don't know. I think let me think about this one. I'm going to put it in the reconsider pile, I guess. And then I have this one, which was actually a gift from a friend. But I don't know. I just, I've never worn it. It is real leather. It is actually really, really nice. Like it looks beautiful. I don't know. I just don't feel like it's my style. Um, I don't know. It's made from real leather so it's also I think it needs to be like 
a little bit worn in, if that makes sense. The noise it's making is ridiculous. Okay, so I think I'm going to um, sell this one, but relatively, re relatively affordable because it was a gift. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'll think about this one. I don't know if I'm going to sell it or just give it away. I don't know. It's difficult to like give things away that were gifts, but... I'm just going to be honest, if I don't like something and I feel like it's not my style, it's just not worth having it sit, sitting somewhere and I'm not going to wear it. Someone else can love her a little bit more. And then I have bags like this, which this one is from River Island. River Island no longer exists in South, in South Africa. So yeah, this is, yeah, it's difficult because I literally wore this bag to death. So I don't think she's in the condition to be sold. Um, I don't know. I'll probably put it on Yaga for a very, very affordable price if you really want this. It has like really, really small um, specks of paint on it. I will put some close-ups on my Yaga shop. And it's obviously the hardware is faded because I wore it so much. So I bought this bag because it reminded me of the Chanel boy bag and it's a bag that I don't like anymore but I, I used to love it and I didn't know if it was well obviously Chanel bags are really expensive I would really still love one in the near future like manifesting it but I would love like the classic flap quilted black one that kind of has this crisscross detail, but without like the Chanel hardware that's kind of like this one. So I love um, seeing bags on High Street that reminds me of designer bags. So this one kind of re reminded me of Chanel. Aldo also has a ton of bags that really look like designer bags so if you feel like it's a it's a style that you like you can kind of buy it and see if you wear it a lot and then you can kind of justify getting it or the, you know justify the price but I think I'll I'll put this on my yaga but just relatively affordable okay another one that has had better days to be honest I haven't used the like crossbody strap it has a little bit of wear on it but it's not completely ruined so the bags that obviously have I mean these aren't brand brand new bags the first guest bag that I shared with you is literally brand new I think I only wore that once but like this and the Pierre Gardin one um, and a couple of these bags I I did love them like I wore them oh I love this bag this is from Colette I'm pretty sure you know that brand Colette Hyman I think that's how you pronounce it it's just a little white and black stripe envelope I guess but I would really love the um, one that comes with the LV Neverfull so I, I'm thinking of getting one of those but who knows but I think I'm gonna pass this one on oh, just as I you know associate a memory with perfumes and certain things not everything I I don't know if I'm a sentimental person I think I'm sentimental with things um I'm not quite sentimental with like cards and you know small things Brian for example he is so sentimental he will not throw away anything that I got him even the letters he literally keeps all of my letters I on the other hand I'm not sentimental with those kind of things the only things that I'm sentimental with in terms of papers and letters and uh, things that you can actually throw away <laughs> Um, are things that used to be my mom's like things that she wrote on and her books and her bible and just a few things that used to be hers those things I'm sentimental with I think it depends but this I'm pretty sentimental with I haven't actually worn this this is from Michael Kors I got this in Dubai when Brendan and I went to Dubai it was actually my first time leaving like Africa and that was with him and yeah it was a really amazing trip and I got this there it's the most beautiful like 
it's not quite like navy it's a really really dark navy but it's a beautiful bag i should definitely wear this a lot more but this wardrobe has just been so cluttered i haven't been able to like see her and wear her so i'm excited to just have a little bit more space and obviously when we move i'm gonna have a ton more space to just display them very nicely i also really love this bag this is from guess um i think it's like a men's or like a unisex duffel um i've literally this is like my go-to when i need to pack a few things for a shoot or just like an overnight bag or if i need to just have something with a little bit more space for the airport i don't know just it, i love it it reminds me of gucci hopefully one day i will get a gucci one and then i can pass this one on to one of you mm. I think I'm just gonna donate this because it's a little bit too worn it's just a plain bag that I used to use for laptops and all of that so that is not gonna go in the trash but I will donate that I also picked out some things that I already saw that I just feel like are not sell worthy <laughs> and i've already put them in a donation pile and then i have this one this is i think it's from aldo or it's forever new i don't even know but is is this bag sellable hmm, i don't know it's a really really nice bag oh there's something else in here it's a belt <laughs> i think oh no it's from h and hmm I will see maybe i will just donate this i don't know this one oh i don't know it's also from guess i got this a while ago actually it's still in such amazing condition i don't think i've worn this a lot but it's it's a really beautiful bag i'm just trying to think hmm my current laptop bag is like a a tanny oatmeal-y color so very neutral um so i'll probably i have to think about this one as well but it's so pretty i will probably end up putting this on yaga but oh, i just love it i can probably sell this because i have another one where is it over here i have another one over here that I actually prefer it's a little bit more like structured and a little bit more my style it's a little bit a little bit a little bit <laughs> you give me oh I didn't even know this I've never worn this bag it was a gift from Brutal Fruit how cute you can like make sure nothing falls out I don't even know where this bag is from and then I have a few smaller items I used to be <laughs> obsessed with rose gold and blush pink i still kind of am with blush pink like i'm girly like i love girly things and back in the day when i was a little bit younger around like 21 i remember i wanted a rose gold morganite um pink stone as an engagement ring <laughs> And my style completely changed. I think back then it wasn't so popular. Rose gold was relatively new. So I was literally drawn to anything rose gold. I was like obsessed. And when I saw this, I just had to have it. So it's a little Mimco wallet. And I don't even know. Oh, <laughs> it still has the tag on there. It was $3.99 three years ago 3.99 for this little purse what was i thinking oh my gosh but it is beautiful it's really pretty i'm gonna put this on yaga not for 3.99 though because that's a little bit ridiculous but it is still brand new i don't think i've ever used this and then this is a little river island wallet it has a zip over here i've used this a couple of times it can do with a wash um but yeah, I will probably, there was some pulls in there, <laughs> like headache tablets. So I will put this on Yaga as well. This one, however, is brand new. It's from Fiorelli and it has like a contrasting Empower. I'm not the hugest like 
wallet person. I don't use a wallet. I just use my little LV key pouch that has a bit of a pocket. I would say it's probably like this size. And then it has a little zippy. My cards fit in there. A little bit of money. And <laughs> that's all I need. I don't need like a huge wallet because I carry bags that are relatively small. This is so beautiful, but I don't know. It's so difficult because I feel like you, one of you would have loved, I think I wore this once to a Brutal Fruit event before I was even an ambassador for them or like a, before I signed a long-term contract with them. And I remember I was like, I'm gonna put my best foot forward because I wanna work with this brand. I'm gonna take a really cute picture. And I had this, all like blush pink outfits with this bag and look where we are now like literally i signed my fourth contract recently with fruits or fruits or my third one i can't quite remember but i've been with them for just over a year and it was like a manifestation but i feel like one of you would really love this bag i just don't know about the monogram i don't know if you can remove it because it is hot stamp this one is also a little monogram but i really like this one it is a little bit it it's it has seen better days i will just have to like cut this <laughs> i think it's something different so i think i will keep this one and then this one i'm just trying to like grab the bags behind me to make sure I don't forget about them. This one is a very, very special bag, also from Michael Kors. This is the bag that Brain got me in Thailand um, on our way home at the Phuket um, Duty Free. <laughs> he got me this bag and it's just, like I said earlier, memories, memories, memories. This is a bag that I think my Libby's will love i was obsessed with it when i got it but i think it's time to pass her on another bag from fiorelli fiorelli as i said is very similar to yes i think it might it's busby so it's it you get it at phrases and very similar to polo um but yeah i think one of my leafies will really love this i love the contrast i love the brown and the black that they've played with this design and it has really nice storage it's, it's a very easy bag the leather is also like really soft it's not too stiff um but it has it still has structure to the bag it's just very well made the storage in inside has like three separate compartments and a little easy accessible part i just think that this bag is really well made especially if you want it to stay organized if you want to know where your things are i mean you can put your phone in the front pocket you can put like hand sanitizer and your keys and all of that in the middle and just paperwork slips your wallet in another one so definitely a bag that i i loved having but i think it is time that she is loved by someone else see now the issue with having so many bags and not enough space to display them properly i used to think that i had a good system um but it was just it wasn't it, it wasn't working because as soon as i pulled a bag out bags were, were stacked on top of each other and another bag would fall out so i just i stayed away from this cupboard and i just didn't want to change my bags that often and I obviously had my favorites and I forgot about some bags like this one I recently worked on a campaign with um, David Lale which is a designer here in South Africa and oh, you know I really love this bag I wanted to give it to Ma uh, Brain's mom for Christmas but I was like oh I just love this bag so much um and i really want to i really want to use it like i really really want to use it but now i feel like i need to get rid of her i think i will also put um some of the other things from this collection as a little bundle and see if one of you are maybe interested i don't know i really love this bag i love this <sighs> This color is just so beautiful. Another laptop 
kind of bag which I got a lot of DMs on when I unboxed this because it is not actually something that you can buy. Well, I'm pretty sure it's it's something that was just made exclusively for everyone that got the benefit PR around Christmas time, like summer Christmas time. Um, and so many of you <laughs> messaged me asking for this bag you were like can i please buy that from you or if you ever want to get rid of it please can i have it and i don't know i really like it i think it's a very practical bag so it's like a laptop bag or i think it's like a suitcase kind of style i think it will be an amazing bag for my nail stuff so i'm gonna think about it um i'm gonna see how my nail stuff look in here because i really do like it i think it's quite funky and cute but it's not something that i would wear out with an outfit to like match my outfit because it is quite i don't know girly and fun and a little bit um I don't know how to explain it. It's not chic, like it's not, um, it's a little bit young of age, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I said that I had a couple of bags in the corner that um, as I was going through this cupboard, I was like, no, I'm just going to give that away. I'm just going to give that away. And this one kind of crept in here. I didn't I didn't see this one but it's like bags like this this is from Mitchum um, it was like a campaign and I had a bunch of products in here but I think these bags I am going to donate with some clothes in them and what I do is I literally just put it on the side of the road and hopefully someone that needs it um, will pick it up and they will have something to wear inside this is another bag that I recently got with a perfume I don't know if I will ever wear this. I think it's a really cute bag. I just hate that <laughs> Hugo Boss and Alive is on it. I really like the orange and the white. I don't know. Maybe I'll think about it. Maybe I'll put it into my like cosmetics bag drawer because I have a lot of cosmetics bags. I use them for so many different things. So maybe I can use this for like a towel at the beach or I don't know. I'll think about it. It's pretty easy to store. I can literally just fold it up and it doesn't take up a lot of space. This is also a bag <laughs> that I got with a Jimmy Choo perfume but I kind of really like this one it says Jimmy Choo so I think that's fine it's like a suede and crocodile I've actually never worn this before I should maybe just give it a go and see maybe I can do with a couple of wears of this and then just donate it to someone or just give it away I don't know I really like the style even for just I don't know maybe like a really chic grocery bag. Because hmm. at Woolies now you have to pay six rand for a bag because they don't do plastic bags anymore. <laughs> I'm going to grab this one over here because it just caught my eye. And I never actually, <laughs> I've never actually used this bag because it has literally no space. I I don't even think my phone goes in here. I think I literally just used it for a photo or two. So if one of you wanted for a photo or two, I will put it on my yucca. And then I just had to grab a few bags from the top of this cupboard because I thought I was nearly done. But I have a couple more bags to do. So I'm really sorry if this video is quite long. But I received so many requests for a bag collection video. And I have so many bags, it's literally, it's never going to be a short video unless I just show them to you really quickly. But yeah, I love to, to just tell the story behind the bag and why I love it and why I'm deciding to pass it on and why I loved it before. And, you know, I just, I love sharing that with you. And this has been my collection for nearly my whole life. I've gotten rid of some of the bags along the way but I've kept most of them and I just with bags with shoes with perfumes and just certain things 
I'm a collector like I I love collecting these things and I love bags like I just I truly truly love bags and I just I can't stop buying them and I mean I work hard um so I can buy bags if I want to buy bags every single month but sometimes you have to stop like sometimes you have to just take a step back and say you know what I need to just reevaluate what I have and just minimize a little bit because it, it gets overwhelming to have so many things and if I can pass it on to someone else and just recycle it instead of throwing it away or throwing it out just passing it on to someone new and having them love it for another lifetime of the bag I really love that idea so yeah guys truly is an amazing platform this is not sponsored by Yaga I have worked with him in the past just a little disclaimer but this video is not sponsored by Yaga I just I loved working with them and I love the platform it is so easy even you can sell your things on there and it's just it's an easy way for me to share my wardrobe with you and I can use that money to maybe buy something else and I'm really looking at buying another designer bag so hopefully with all of these bags that are going I can buy something that I really really love and that I will wear for many 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 years to come I've been holding this bag and not telling you anything about it this bag doesn't have like a particular story <laughs> but it is a really really pretty bag do I want to keep it hmm I don't know I really do like it. I don't have a bag in this color. It's just from Woolworths. It's not even a fancy, expensive bag. I literally got it on um, like a Black Friday sale. And the amount of times that I get stopped in public asking me where this bag is from is just insane. But I haven't worn it in a while because, again, my collection is just over the top and I don't see all of the bags that I own. <laughs> I have another one that is really nice but I am going to say that I'm going to put her on sale because, oh excuse me, <laughs> because yeah I just I feel like I've worn it a few times maybe um, five times and yeah, it's like Marie Kondo says, it doesn't spark an enormous amount of joy. I do love it. I do think that it's absolutely beautiful. You see, now I'm... It's so difficult. Hmm. You see, it's so difficult. Hmm. Mm. difficult oh okay I think it needs it needs to um, be passed on because if I'm not sure that I absolutely love it I am going to pass it on this one however I think I will get some way out of um, I wore this in Cape Town when we went on the guest trip it's like a little belt bag and I just think it's so cute and I will definitely want to wear this whenever the occasion comes in the near future and it matches my um duffel bag and i really love this print again reminds me of gucci so until i get a gucci one <laughs> i will keep this one this is something that oh i've been thinking about this and i was like oh i just need to keep it because i recently got sent the new ivy icy park launch from beyonce and this was one of the things that um, I got sent. But to be honest with you, I just don't, I just don't see myself wearing this. It is like a huge fanny pack. <laughs> That's how I can explain it. And has amazing like storage. It's like a puffer jacket. But um, yeah, I had to. They they gifted this to me, and you know, in exchange for content. I had to post it on my YouTube and I did like a little haul. Um, so yes, I got gifted this, but 
in all the veins like I did kind of work for it so um yeah I think I'm gonna sell this it, it has the tag on it still so I will see what this retails and then I'll just give my leafies a good price on it I'm sure one of you will really really love this and then <laughs> A lot of you asked me for this bag, but I just feel like I don't have a red bag. This is the only red bag that I have, and I'm really in love with it. Like, I really love this bag, and until I have a red Chanel <laughs> or a red Louis Vuitton or a red Gucci bag, I will keep this one. And then this one is... The background is getting emptier and emptier. It means we are close to the end, I hope. This is a bag that I literally wore once. Um, to be honest with you, I don't love it. I think I bought it for an outfit. Um, it's, a re it's a really pretty print. It's just not me. I think with certain outfits, it will look really stunning. Although it has like florals on it. It's still kind of neutral, but I know one of you will love it, so I will put it up for sale for one of you to hopefully enjoy. My mouth is so dry and my lip gloss is fading because this video is so long, but I'm sure you enjoy it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pass this on. These bags are quite popular, like a beach um, kind of vibe. I've put in flowers as a little picnic. Um, so yeah, I think it's really cute, but I have that other straw bag that I said I'm going to keep in the beginning. I think it's it's somewhere in this pile over here, but I'm going to put this one up for one of you. This is something that I don't think I will ever wear again. It is absolutely beautiful. Look at that sparkle. It's like black, but it has like a sparkle to it. It's from Forever New. I got it when we were in the Durban July, at the Durban July with Forever New. And yeah, I just, I picked a clutch that goes with my outfit because they didn't really have like evening kind of bags, but I do have the dust cover for it. So I will put it in the dust cover and then put it up for one of you. So these are the bags that I will probably reach for when it's like a proper evening vibe. I really like this one. I haven't worn this one a lot actually, but the black one I have. The monogram hot stamp is kind of rubbed off a little bit. I'll see if I can completely take it off and then just maybe donate it or just I'm gonna get I'm gonna get rid of this one because I really like this one and I have a ton of other small black bags. I think I'm gonna reach for some of these ones in the back. This one um, is really special actually. I think it's really cute. Um, it's also from Perfectly Customized Daily. It has my initials, but quite glamorous. It's not hot stamped. It's the actual like metal um, hardware letters and the color is just beautiful. So I'm going to keep this one. Um, it's also a really pretty display bag. Oh my gosh, I just found this one and... <laughs> This is the very first bag that Brain got me. This is, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> it's like a blue and green. I don't even know what that is. Um, but I kept it in the dust bag because I don't, I don't think I will get rid of it. Oh, it's so difficult to have like a sentimental attachment to it. It doesn't spark joy for me. It doesn't excite me at all, but it has really, really nice memories. And that's the first, like a little bit more expensive bag <laughs> when we were students that Brain got for me. And yeah, it was just, it's a, it's a special bag. So I, I think I'm just going to keep it, even if it just has to stay in the dust bag. And then I have a little blue bag, which I don't really have a blue bag like this. And I think it's cute for outfits. Again, it has my initials on it, so I can't really sell this. So I'm going to keep this one. But this blue one, I will probably... Um, pass on it's like a denim i think it's so cute but i just i haven't worn this and to be honest with you i'm not crazy about the guess being in red or like pink it's a really really cute bag 
it has like little charms and yeah it's pretty standard I guess on the inside it's a very beautiful like dark denim quilted kind of vibe it has a back pocket and like silver hardware so this is a very very cute bag but I don't think I will get a lot of wear out of this I have two more guest bags that I had to go get quickly because I wore them recently and it's this one and this one both of them I'm going to keep because again I love this kind of like Chanel inspired vibe and I love this color I don't have many bags I don't have any bags in this specific like very soft pastel pink and then this bag I love because I love this um guest print again reminds me of Gucci and then it has this like leopard front with the lock I'll maybe get rid of this in the near future when I do get maybe like a Gucci bag we'll have to see but for now I'm going to keep this one because it also matches my guest shoes I have guest shoes like this so I love wearing those shoes and this bag together so I'm going to keep these two but I have a lot of guest bags that I've put on the side here for you these are the last few bags. This one I am going to pass on. This is from YDE. It's a very like spring summer kind of bag. I used to love wearing this to events if I'm wearing like pink and it's just oh, such a stunning bag. Also beautiful for like putting on your display, like on the vanity, has a little chain. But yeah, I don't think, I think I've had this for a while now. It's, it's a work of art. Like, honestly, this is a work of art. It literally looks like a painting. It is so pretty. The hardware does have a little bit of scratch and, like, wear on it. But I will, again, like, put close-ups. This one, I think I am going to keep because I threw out the River Island one. And again, <laughs> it reminds me of... My Chanel bag that I want, this one is from Dune, so it's High Street, um, but not quite the bag yet. So until I get my Chanel, I will keep this one. This one has literally, I got this one shortly after the River Island one and the gold hardware is still like brand new on it. It hasn't had any like major wear on it. So I definitely, this is like one of my favorite black bags but between this one and the black small michael kors one those are my favorite this one i'm quite unsure of um i've never actually worn this out because again it's like it's a little bucket kind of hat bag it's really really cute but i don't know if i Will ever wear that I don't know what the current situation of the world is gonna do if we are gonna have events again soon maybe I will keep it for like props um, but yeah I will link my store down below so you can see if this goes on sale or not I have two more pieces my Louis Vuitton is gonna stay there she is not gonna go anywhere I'm sorry to disappoint some of you I'm pretty sure most of you didn't think that I would put it on my yaga. But anyway, this is a, um, what brand is this? It reminds me of a brand. Um, but this is just, um, like a normal fashion bag. It's not a brand or anything, but it's definitely a bag that I only wore once for an event to match a pink suit outfit that I had and I never wore it again so I am going to pass this on to one of you I can't remember the brand now um but I, I think you know what I mean I will I will pop it here if I remember and of course the Alma BB will be worn for many many years to come I am just obsessed with this bag and I can't wait to grow my designer bag collection in the near future I'm actually thinking of maybe using some of this money from the previous sale and from this sale and who knows I don't know till we are able to um 
maybe get something a bit more special that can remind me of my leafies and that's just like a special bag from my leafies to me in essence and yeah I'm it's it's so difficult to get rid of my collection and to like cut it down so tremendously but I'm looking into the future and I'm like I'm really excited to hopefully one day own a Chanel bag and many more designer bags and just having a smaller collection but a little bit more special bags and then I can hopefully pass them on to my daughters and my grandchildren and have the most amazing like bag collection. I'm very proud of the bag collection that I have and had. <laughs> I worked extremely hard for all of the things that I have and I probably have a little bit more than the average person and it's just because of my job. I do work in like fashion and beauty and I do work with a lot of brands. So a lot of these bags, especially the guest bags, were given to me for a campaign or for posts, but I did work for them, if that makes sense. So that's why I am selling them to you so that I can buy something a little bit nicer and just have a smaller collection because that's definitely something that I want. I want fewer bags and you know bags that I absolutely absolutely love and bags that will stand the test of time and bags that are truly an investment if that makes sense um I think it all depends on the things you like I really like bags and I really like shoes so I love collecting them and it's almost like a um a little milestone if you are able to buy yourself a designer bag because they are quite pricey um, but it's really exciting and I'm excited to see what the future holds I'm excited to share some of this with you and who knows maybe in the future if I have too many designer bags I can share them with you as well and of course you make all of this possible so I wanted to thank you for all of the love and all of the support and for shopping my collection just a little um, thanks in advance for shopping my collection we did so well with all of the previous sales on my clothing so we're definitely gonna do some shoes and then I'm gonna go through my makeup I have tons of products that I've never used before I have tons of doubles and I really want to minimize that as well so let me know if you would be interested and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I love you Liffies so much and I will see you very soon. Bye, Lippies.